thoughts on the ball game tonight? Um, obviously, you know, disappointed in the outcome. Um, you know, I thought that we shot ourselves in the foot a lot throughout the game. You know, it, it, you're not going to win college basketball games having 23 turnovers and, and then giving up 20 points on second chance. I mean, it, it is simple as that because, you know, as a coach, that's really frustrating because you can't scheme that. You know, you can't, you know, there's no drill to, um, you know, to stop the turnovers the way they're happening at times. Um, and, you know, the offensive rebounds we gave up. I mean, we work on rebounding every day. We obviously have to figure out the right way to, to work on it because it's not translating. But, um, you know, I, I give them a lot of credit. I mean, I, they're a very good basketball team. Coach Marlin does a great job. I mean, they've won 112 games, you know, the last five years. I mean, they're, they're, their program is at, a, is at a different point right now. Um, you know, and I, I, I recognize that and I understand that. And uh, I have the utmost respect for them. They do a really good job. And obviously, um, you know, kid, you know, um, Marchetti stepped up and made some big shots. You know, he's a heck of a player. Uh, Coach, you mentioned Marchetti. Uh, yeah. In the second half, it, uh, what happened? How was he still able to? I know he made some tough shots, but how was he still able to occasionally get open? Um, I thought they did a good job of putting him in a single eye, meaning, you know, they'd set a ball screen. Um, you know, big would roll, and then, um, you know, he would be the only guy on the weak side. So you have to sit on the roll, um, try to make a little bit of adjustment out of that, and weren't able to do that. Um, and then, you know, they did a really good job of o overloading our zone. Um, they knocked me down shots that way. So they, they did a couple of those shots. You know, Sham contested, I thought, really well. But, you know, he's a good player. And, you know, they, they made nine threes, and we made three. Uh, was another issue as well. So, um, you know, they, uh, they're, they're really good. They, they put them in space. They did a good job of executing. I think they, uh, they're good. I mean, it's, it's like I said to our group um, as a staff, the thing that impressed me the most about them is that, you know, they got their top six or seven guys that have been there in that program for three years. So they understand all the little wrinkles and all the little adjustments. Um, that's the biggest thing that I was worried about going into the game was are we able to make those type of adjustments? And um, But at the end of the day, when you turn the ball over 23 times and give up 20 points on offensive rebounds, um, you know, you're not going to win college games. Uh, how frustrating is it when you see balls just kind of being tossed around at times haphazardly? Rick, it is really frustrating. <laughs> um, you know, we've shown film. We, um, you know, we, we just we, we've got to get better at it going into league play. It's 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 been an Achilles heel. When you look at the, the UMKC game, um, you know, really the the games that we've lost. Um, you know, the outside of the, the big teams we played, uh, it comes down to you know being able to take care of the ball, mm -hmm. and get quality possessions, and and rebounding the ball. And um, we've just we've struggled in that area. Did it? Uh... I think uh, the last, you know, the outdoors, the last four minutes was 29-28. That's the one. Yeah. And then I think it was a 13-5 uh, run. Yeah. And then I think the last maybe nine minutes, unless I'm mistaken, Sham wasn't even in the game. Uh, foul trouble. How, how big of an issue was that? Him not being in the game. You know, I think Sham, you know, Sham's been a foul show in the last two games, and, and he's uh, he's the best rim protector we got. Um, and, yeah, I think it's hurt him. It's hurt us. Um, you know, right now he's shooting the best from the floor of anyone on our team. Um, but, um, you know, not having him in the last, you know, couple games, he's been in, been in foul trouble. And, um, you know, that, that hurt a little bit. But, you know, they went small, um, you know, and, and tried to, you know, match us and, you know, they, they, they did a really good job. And we, again, at the end of the day, though, we shot, you know, we, you know, they, they're good and they won the game and they deserve a lot of credit because they put, put us in situations that, uh, that, that made us turn it over. But, but again, we have, when we shot ourselves in the foot. We, we have 23 turnovers. We give up 20 points in the offensive class. You're not going to win in college basketball. Obviously, not only that, but the, the only three, you can't make it up when you only shoot three threes and make three threes. But, it seemed like, especially the last eight, nine minutes of the game, when you had to shoot threes, they really packed it in on defense down low. Yeah. Um, did you see them make the change and, and always coming back to double? Yeah, you know, they, uh, teams have been doing that. Um, you know, they, they've really tried to collapse on our high-low, um, you know, with, with Malik and, and Sham. 
and you know they're you know like we tried to spread them out and dribble drive it and attack some gaps and I thought that was good for us and then again they started going under all that um, so yeah I mean it's you know us being able to knock down some perimeter shots is something that's going to have to happen but at the end of the day that being said I always go back to you know we didn't even get a shot 23 times I mean, 23 times in the game we didn't even get a shot you, so uh, whether it's a good shot or a bad shot let's just get one you uh at one point you have it to within I think it's three or four yeah offensive and, rebound and you get three shots with the basketball down the court and didn't get a shot up right. was that kind of the you had three turnovers in a row right there you couldn't even cut it to two you didn't get a shot up was yes. that kind of the end of it yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, again, we, we come out of a timeout, didn't execute, turn it over, which we've been really good out of timeouts. We were atrocious today, and that's it's very disappointing for me because I take a lot of pride in that. Um, but, you know, we, again, we, we didn't execute the way we needed to execute, and we, we just didn't take care of the ball. I thought their press really bothered us, put us on our heels. Um, you know, I think the double of the post hurt us a little bit. You know, we work on that a lot. Um, it, you know, again, we the, the ball has got to move. And when you get two on the ball, it's got to move. And, you know, we, we held on to it too long and uh, at times tonight, and it cost us. You, uh, ULL arguably didn't have arguably their best player tonight. Um, I guess what, if any, differences did you see in their, I guess, how they approached the game tonight? I think they went smaller, which kind of hurt us a little bit. Um, just because they put another, sh you know, three-point shooter on the floor, um, you know, they put, um, uh, you know, they put Marchetti at the four, and a lot, and you know, that's a hard matchup for guys like you know Shamarcus and those things, and they stretched it with four guys that can all bounce it and shoot it, um, and played behind, you know, played around Miller. I thought that was made him a little more difficult. Um, you know, they're they're a good basketball team. I mean, they, you know, like I said, I mean, their their program is at a really good point. I think Bob has done a great job. Um, you know, it took him a couple little couple years to get it going, but he's got it going. And like I said, in the last five years, I mean, they've won 112 games. Um, you know, I don't know what our program won the last five, but it sure as heck wasn't close to that. Malik, uh, did seem like early on. Or there were times where it seemed like ULL was content to give you kind of that long range, a mid range jumper. Um, were there? What was your mindset as far as taking that compared to kind of driving and getting to the rim? Um, honestly, that, that you stand out from a shooter. You know, uh, we get up a lot of shots throughout the week, um, so I just have to be confident shooting, and, and I think tonight that's what I was doing. So how does this team, a win over Central, tough road loss, come back, tough game against? Uh, a ULL team. How does this team? How do you anticipate this team bouncing back? What is it going to take? Is it going to the resiliency that you need as a new group? Um, is the leadership there? Somebody you need to step up to to get this team back where it needs to be from an execution standpoint. Um, honestly, you know, it's been a new team, you know, a new era for everybody. Sometimes, you know, these type of moments happen. Um, you go through a lot of adversity. You lose some. Um, lose games that you're not supposed to lose. Mm -hmm. So um, if you ask me, I think this type of stuff, you know, it happens. You know, it's part of the game. It's part of, you know, a new transition. That's, you know, new stuff. So um, from a leadership standpoint, I mean, we're getting that. You know, um, you just, uh, um, just got to buy in at this point. You know, we got to trust our staff. We got to trust each other. And um, it's just the will. We got to want it. That's it. Coach, you, you said that the press got you. They didn't really attack you at the point, but it just took you out of your offense because they really hit you at half court. Yeah, I mean, it just, you know, it, uh, it, it kind of got us off rhythm. And again, you know, <laughs> we work on press break every day. Um, we reviewed it before the game, you know, and we just, you know, we didn't execute it. We turned it over. Um, you know, we didn't have outlets behind the ball. Um, we didn't flood the, the, the press and overload it. Uh, when we did, we did those things. We got layups and wide open shots. When we didn't, we turned it over. It seemed like you, you attacked it, not you didn't assist, beat it and then attack it consistently. It was like almost periodically you would attack it, then other times you would bring it out. Were you trying to always attack? Well, we were trying to attack if it's there. And then obviously if it's not, we wanted to try to execute and, and, and run our offense and, uh, and get into something. 
and you know we take a lot of pride on trying to figure out how they guard different things and then we have packages for that um, and that's you know that's what I think that we you know coach Aiken and our staff have done, have done a, a really good job for that for years um, you know I've made a, a, a really pretty good living for the last 20 years trying to do those things um, so we, we always want to try to break it to score and if we don't then you know we want to try to execute you know one of the packages that we have um, in regards to how they're defending things. Um, I'm just curious, the, the, the threes really threw out, there were a lot of uncontested threes. Was that lack of, of defensive hustle or work, or was it something schematically that you kind of alluded to earlier? Because they had a lot of open threes, I mean uncontested. Uh, I think a lot of it had to do with us being broke down off the bounce, off okay. the dribble. And when you're broke down off the dribble and you're in the rotation a lot, mm -hmm. um, that's what happens. You know, I, I think, it, again, uh, you know, we got to be able to defend the ball better. Um, but, you know, I go keep going back to the same thing, Rick. I mean... You know, at the end of the day, they shot 40, almost 42 percent, 30 percent, and they got you know 20 points off second chance. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, like I, 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 to your point, and it's no no question, there were some possessions I think we didn't execute defensively. But you know, golly, when you take the pick sixes away and you take away the second chance, I mean, what do they shoot? I mean, what's our first shot defense? I'm going to go back and stat it tonight, but it's it's it has to be in the low 30s, um, and that's where our scouting report comes in. Uh, but again, that, that frustrating part as a coach is when the shot goes up, you know, I can I can kind of help you put in position to defend certain action. But when the shot goes up, you know, we got to go get the ball and we got to be able to take care of it and not throw it to the other team. You, you made mention of, of different packages. I'm just curious, is, is maybe for this team and at, at this juncture of the season and development and getting ready for uh, Southland Conference, is maybe the so-called playbook might be a little too thick? Um, um, maybe. I don't know. We, maybe we, a simplification? We, you know, we, we, I've tried to simplify it quite a bit. Um, but, um, you know, that's something that we'll obviously look at. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's games, you know, like, again, yeah, you know, looking back at Mississippi State, and, you know, we shot 60 some percent in the second half. You know, uh, Arizona State, there was a half we played really well. St. Mary's, you know, second half, we shot over 56%. So there's times we do, we just, you know, our lack of consistency um, and being able to be, again, with, you know, so many guys it's never done it and never understood what it takes to win college games it's really hard I don't care who you're playing it's hard to win college games and you're gonna you know if you get turned the ball over 23 times um, you know it's it's gonna make it almost impossible uh, Malik you guys have uh, two more non-conference games and when you get into conference I'm sure you guys can agree that the teams pretty much know how they're going to attack you. Um, is there any extra pressure as you guys on the inside, they know that they're going to, uh, they want to get the ball to you guys. Is there any pressure, extra pressure on you uh, interior players? Uh, no, sir, that's part of the game. Uh, people watch you, they scout, you know, they develop uh, strategies to go against what you do. And, um, we work every day. We work on doubles and, you know, playing out of doubles and everything. So, like I said earlier, at this point with our team, you know, just the will, how bad do we want it? That's it.